Although bitwise operators seem to be most used electronically, they can be used in match structures, which we'll see a few lessons later or blockchain crawl. The first of bitwise operators is AND. It is constructed with the ampersand sign, just like in the previous logical operator lesson. The difference is that a single ampersand is used. Each compared bit outputs one if both are true, otherwise false. Let's illustrate this with an example. It only returned that value 1 as the rightmost 0 of bit was also present in the variable num2. The other value returned 0 because it had no equivalent in the variable num1. Again, the OR operator is created using a single pipe. As you know, it only returns 0 provided that both sides are false. In all other cases, the bits will return 1. The three bits here appear as one because except for the first bit from the right, both numbers have at least one equivalent as a value. In the XOR operator, if the two compared values have different bits, it returns 1, otherwise 0. When we look at the result, the values that are the same on both sides are returned as 0, and the values that are different are returned as 1. We have two more operators named left shift and right shift. I guess it will be easier to show this on the calculator in programmer mode. You can now see the bitwise equivalent of the number 5 in the calculator. When I use the left shift operator, you will see that the number is shift 1 bit to the left. As you can see, all bits are shifted 1 bit to the left. Likewise, the right shift operator shifts 1 bit to the right. According to the value you give in code, it's the cross in return for an integer. Well, if you type 2, it will shift 2 bits this time. When we enter a variable, it will scroll by the integer equivalent of the variable. The NUR operator replaces all values with its opposite. You can think of it like the NOT operator from the logical operators. I am typing the number and as you can see all the bits have been replaced with their opposites. If this calculator could display its bits in negative numbers, it will display a negative value this time when you define a signed number. All the best, see you in the next lesson.